doing great welcome back to my channel this is phenomenal peeps if you are new on this channel don't forget to click on the subscription button click on the bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be the first person to see it today i want to show you guys on how to trade the boom and crash successfully but before i proceed this video is going to be a long video but i will make it two videos so this one will be the part a then later we do the part b so in this uh, chapter now i will upload i will add all the indicators that you need so let me quickly do that in this first part to add the indicators then later we explain further on how to use it so um we are using three three windows we will use three windows we will use the main chart we will use the indicator window one indicator window two then indicator window three so first of all let's first of all start from the main chart so on our main chart we are using the moving average i'm coming let me delete all this one first So on our main chart, we are using the moving average, moving average 200, shift is 0, method is exponential, apply to close, use any color that you like, let me use this one, done, then we are using the moving average 50, shift zero method is exponential apply to close use any color that you like done then you are using moving average twenty five Shift zero method is exponential apply to close. Use any code that you like. Let me use good. So this is the three main move uh, moving average. We are using our on our main chart. We are using three. Then let's move to indicator window one. Click on this plus sign. Our indicator window one we will Let's first let first of course add the RSI relative stress index period RSI to be period twenty five then plus use style to be black then the levels this levels Ten, twenty, forty-nine, eighty, ten, ten, twenty, fifty. 80 and 90 so that is the 3 90 let me add 94 and 6 Yes, this is the levels. So this is the levels we are using. So this let me use uh, black. Done. Yes. 
this is our uh, RSI so this is our RSI guys so you know what let this black I don't want it to show Uh -huh, make it like this so then add moving average on this RSI click on this plus here so we are using the moving average 200 also shift 0 method is exponential apply to close Use this same color done. Then um then move in Africa thirteen also. Move in Africa thirteen on this plus move in Africa thirteen. Zero metal is exponential apply to close, change the color to blue. Yes, turn a uh -huh. like this. So the third moving average will be moving average 50. Moving average 50, shift zero metal is exponential, change, uh, change only the color. To any color that you like let me use this color done wow yes this eye is going to be this eye is going to look like then the last one is we are going to add uh, click on this plus here to add your williams percentage range indicator with the one here plus here so click on it to add your williams percentage range so So Willis by the you should be 160. 160. Um left should be level should be minus minus 70. Minus seventy. Minus thirty. Minus ten. Minus ninety. So use any color that you like. I'm using this color. done so can you see but let me make the color bold make the color four pixel done aha here we go so the next one that you are going to add is a uh, We are going to add indicator window two now. Indicator window two. Although we're supposed to label it, but we label. I will do that one later. So indicator window two. We are going to add another RSI. To add your indicator window two, click on the main main window here, plus sign here. So add your RSI. Relative strength index. RSI should be ter PO13. PO13 close 68, 50, and 32.
so this one will be 68 50 then 32 so use this let me use the okay use black i don't want it to show then one well, let me use this right because i don't want it to show Safe done. Uh -huh, this is the second one, guys. This is the second RSI. So, on the indicator window, two we are having we are adding moving average two. This is it. Click on the indicator window two plus here to add your moving average two. If you want to add this, thing, you need to be careful. So in Africa 2 shift 0 method is simple previous indicator data the star done So let's let's move forward. We are need, we add another moving average and indicator window two. The indicator we are going to add now moving average seven. Save zero method the simple previous indicator data. I'm using another color, change the another color to blue. Done. Can you see? then we still have another one that we are going to add so we are going to add bolija band on indicator window 2 bolija band bolija band should be pure 34 shift should be 0 Deviation should be one point six one nine at this film studio. So one point six one nine. Then first indicator change the change the apply to first indicator data. Then the level should be don't need any level so the color I'm using let me use the blue color done Yeah, this is the Bolivia band. So, I think we still have another one on this indicator into two. I think we have another moving average. Yes, an indicator into two moving average we have we need to add moving average 30 moving average 32 moving average 32 
shape zero method is simple okay method is linear width uh previous indicator data style a uh, color should be good then done yeah wow if you have eye you're supposed to see the okay we are done with the for your main charts indicator window one and indicator window two so now we move to the last indicator window which is indicator window three to add your indicator window three you click on this main window here to add your stochastic oscillator stochastic oscillator here so period is one one and one period should be low high method also should be simple then we don't want it to show at all so you need to change the color to your background color if your background is white use white if your background is white use white and one more pixel can you see my own now my background is white that's why i'm using white if your background is black use black then the level should be the level should be 20 and 80 yes that is the levels So now we move to add moving average to your stochastic oscillator. So add moving average 300 to your stochastic oscillator 300 shift zero method is linear weighted apply to weighted close then the color should be use this color done then uh, the second moving average The second moving average should be moving average 300. The moving average 100. Uh, use shift zero method is linear which I'd apply to previous indicator data. Color should be green. Uh, down. So I think we are good to go now. You see, have only only one, only one. So the last one we are going to add is mark this, mark this, M A C D. So the level should be nineteen. The first year me should be nineteen. Thirty nine. nine open then the main should be the main should be white if your background is white please here yeah, you need to be careful here yeah. if your background is white use white for the main if your background is white use white for the main and use one pixel 
then if your background is black for the main use black uh -huh. so my background is white that's why i'm using white and i'm using one pixel for it so the signal you can use any color for the signal you can use any color for the signal so that is it like this can you see this is it so done yes <clears throat> so this is how it's going to look like this is how we want it to look like so this is how it's going to look like let me check the mark let me check 30 19 39 9 open yes so don't mind the levels or oh, okay add the levels add 20 and 80 to the levels 20 and 80 to the levels of the magnet done so that's it so that's it so I'd, like i said I, I want this video to be one and two so this one will be the first part so because i don't want it to, to be too long so in the second part i will explain how to use it it's very easy to use guys it's very very easy to use so this strategy is you can use it to catch spikes and you can also use it to take the trend so that is very easy guys as if you can see it like this you will know that it's very easy to use so wait for the second part i will explain it on how to use it so thank you very much if you are new on this channel don't forget to click on the subscription button click on the bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first person to see it bye for now